mob boss when we do the party because I'll just like I've got so much going on. I'll just look at like the one guy I know who can like take care of that guy and make sure that it's done in a in in, in a wise and effective way. You know, non aggressive. Don't start. Don't don't mess up my party. Right, um, right. But I'll be like, hey, go check that guy out. Just let me know what's going on there. Oh, and usually they'll just check him out and be like, yeah. Next thing you know, the guy's leaving. You're like, okay, good. We're yeah. Good. Once once they get kind of called out or like the attention brought to them because they're trying not they're trying not to bring attention to them, but it mm-hmm. just yeah. No, that's yeah, that's the thing is you know they're me. I could probably get away with it as a wedding crasher. <laughs> Especially any wedding in town. Yeah. Well, any of those, I could, I probably could. That's true. That is probably true. Um, and then there's the others are like, Oh, he shut up. <laughs> hey, are you with the groom or the, or the bride? Neither. I'm here for yeah. the party. I've been with both. No. <laughs> oh yeah. That shuts everybody up and nobody asks you any more questions and you're just good for the night. Yep. No one will bother you then. Yeah. Just wink at them both here and there, make them uncomfortable. <laughs> Nobody's going to say a thing. Uh, oh, man. So what do you love about owning a brew pub? Well, it, it uh, kind of like, you know, Andrew and I both kind of had the same response of like, you know, like what part of it, like, do you really enjoy? And, and and Andrew and I, we both really enjoy being able to create something, but then also be able to like stand behind the bar and, and serve it to somebody and let them enjoy it as well and see them light up or see somebody really enjoying, you know, a good beer. And it's, you know, kind of sharing our passion, sharing our uh, creativity, you know, cause that's what, you know, brewing beer is, it's kind of, it's an art. It's, it's it is a, an art. Yeah. Um, and so being able to share that with people is like probably the most uh, satisfying like part of, of owning not just a brewery, but, um, but a space for the community. Um, and I kind of touched a little bit about, you know, like when I went to Lake Oswego as law enforcement, I, I kind of lost that connection. That wasn't really my community that I was serving, even though generally, yes, it's, every, we're all yeah, we're one all same community. Sure. Um, but you know, Going back to, you know, you know, I love building things. And so, great, I, I built a, a brewery, piecing it together. You know, something doesn't work quite right. I can build it and make it better. Or adding this piece to make something, you know, taste better or more efficient. That part got the whole science background, you know, of making the beer and learning about cells and yeast. And, I mean, it's it's a pretty in-depth process, uh that a lot of people don't realize that it, it's like it's chemistry, basically. That's what you're playing with. Yeah. Um, all the way to the point of breweries nowadays uh, aren't just, you know, making beer or simpler, just making alcohol. We, yeah. we are, I think a huge um, asset to the community because we give back so much. We, just either providing the space, but just providing sponsorships and, and giving back to the community that basically supports us. And that was a great way for me to kind of like get back into the position of being able to give back to my community and, and not have to wear a uniform and badge. Right. Um, well, well, creating space is huge in community. Yeah. And exactly. having, having a place where families and friends can come together is, is really critical in creating good community. And right. that's why you can see cities like Portland, as big as it is, still having neighborhoods. Right. And yeah. people from the neighborhoods hanging out in their local pubs, in their local restaurants, in their local bookstores. Yeah. And still having community yeah and still I, I, still having that connection that personal connection is i think is is vital and um it's that sense of of being part of something that you know and it's just like even when this whole covid thing broke out it's like 
it was amazing how our 